اللي هو كان يقعد يرمي لسه اوكي Are you can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So today we'll start this fourth unit, numerical solution to ordinary differential equation in mathematics. Hani, please tell. Yes, sir. Yes, Uh, means uh, today no means uh, today is the scheduled class uh, according to your uh, this academic calendar you have off from this uh, 3rd to 15th and it was supposed uh, classes were supposed to resume from 16 onwards so what is the problem Oh, means uh, today we have a should be regular scheduled class now. That's why we are continuing here. Uh, means uh, syllabus need to be completed. Uh, on eighteen, uh, uh, we will miss one one and uh, another one class on eighteenth. That is uh, holy. And uh, if you do not, uh, if uh, Nilesh, uh, Means, uh, we can take this topic uh, uh, after the completing our syllabus once more. And uh, if you have uh, some important engagements uh, other than this class, then uh, you may leave. Then uh, we can take this topic once again after completion of all the course, all the units. This is, uh, this is also one of the feasible solution. Okay, so... Uh, uh, numerical solution to ordinary differential equation. So <clears throat> here uh, we look at this. Uh, uh, we will see this. So what is this uh, numerical solu <clears throat> solution? <clears throat> we know that uh, we are familiar with the, the conventional solution of uh, uh, this ordinary differential equation. Of the form dy uh, dy by dx uh, or uh, equated to some function, uh, we use uh, different um, method methods. We all did uh, uh, conventional methods in this uh, uh, at plus two level. Now let us uh, move uh, towards finding the com uh, this numerical solution. How do we compute this? So one way is uh, that uh, uh, we can uh, represent uh, this uh, function. The way we represent it that dy dy dt is equal to f uh, and which is function of t and y. Now uh, the solution is uh, this new value is equal to old value, previous value at the previous step that is y plus ith step and the slope uh, uh, is given by phi and the step size is given in h. So, so here you can uh, uh, look that uh, uh, that slope. Uh, uh, phi is the increment function according to this equation. The uh, slope estimate phi is used to extrapolate from old value to new value y plus 1. So basically, we are multiplying uh, the slope with the step size and uh, using the old estimate to get the new estimate that is y i plus 1, and old estimate is y i. Uh, we will uh, 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 we will make a uh, means uh, we will be familiar with the, these notations once we take one of one of the solved example. So this formula can be uh, applied step by step to uh, trace out the trajectory of the solution into future. Such approach is called one step method because the value of increment function is based on information at single point. And these are also called as Rangakota methods. So let us uh, uh, solve, uh, take first method. That is the basic method uh, which we do is uh, this uh, Euler's method. So Euler's method, uh, here you can uh, see this uh, Euler's method, uh, you have uh, something uh, this uh, uh, phi and uh, uh, 
you can see here the, uh, this uh, first derivative provide the direct estimate of the slope and uh, first method provide the direct estimate of the slope at uh, ti that is phi is equal to that is slope and uh, this is the initial slope that is at f di plus y i now this formula is referred as Euler's method. So we have a graphical representation of this uh, method. You can see here that, uh, you can see here this uh, method, please wait for a minute. Okay, so uh, uh, we have this uh, uh, slope of the derivative of the function at uh, this point, that is at point uh, uh, this uh, uh, t, ti and value of function at uh, uh, yi, that is yi. Now uh, using these two value and the step size, we compute uh, the next value, which is uh, given as uh, yi uh, plus one, and that is uh, the uh, uh, value of function at time t i plus one. So which is nothing but y i plus one is equal to y i f f t i y i into h. This formula is referred as Euler's method. Now uh, you can see here this, uh, uh, we will uh, use this formula to solve one of the uh, example. So here, uh, you have this uh, one uh, function that is a uh, uh, y prime. This is y prime, sorry, not y. This is y prime is equal to four uh, e raised to the power 0. 0.8 t minus 0. 0.5 y. And uh, we wish to uh, uh, integrate this function or uh, this dy uh, uh, dt is given to us as four e raised to the power 0 0.8 t minus 0 0.5 y and uh, we need to integrate this function uh, from uh, 0 to 4 with step size that is h is equal to 1 and uh, uh, we have one initial condition at t is equal to 0 y is equal to 0. So can you calculate find the exact value of this integral? You have we uh, we will have one integration constant c1. Once we integrate this dy by dt is equal to four e raised to the power 0. 0.8 t minus 0. 0.5 y. So we will have uh, one uh, this uh, uh, ex exact solution. So which is represented by y is equal to four by 1.3 e raised to the power 0. 0.8 t minus e raised to the power minus 0. 0.5 t plus 2 into e raised to the power minus 0. 0.5 into t. So this is the exact solution. So you can uh, uh, do your own calculations and get the same result. Now uh, we wish to solve same problem using Euler's approach. So we have formula y i plus 1 is equal to y i f t i y i into h. So y at 0 is given to us. That is a uh, uh, we know the value of function at t, uh, at, uh, t is equal to 0 and f of 0 into 2. So uh, you use the above formula and uh, slope is given to us. Slope is d by y dt, which is uh, 4 into e raised to power 0. 0.8 into t minus 0. 0.5 into y. And uh, we can substitute the value and find uh, 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 the slope at 0, 2, which comes out to be 3. So uh, y1, that is after the crossing first step, that is from moving from 0 to 1. 
value of function will be 5. However, the true solution is 6.19463. So if you calculate the percentage error with respect to true, true solution, this comes out to be 19.28% of error. This is true error. So in a similar manner, can we proceed for the second step? So if you uh, proceed in a similar uh, manner, then we will get the value as 11.40216. However, the two true value is given in the table that is 14.84392. You can see the true value in the table is given as 14.84392. So the percentage error with respect to true value is 23.19. Similarly, we can find the value using Euler's method at t is equal to 3. And uh, uh, we can also compute the value uh, using the exact solution and compute the relative percentage error. So uh, uh, you can see that we have uh, drawn a, a, a plot for a variation of y with respect to time. And uh, we can plot this curve for the true solution and as well as using Euler's solution. So you can see that uh, this uh, error is uh, rapidly increasing in this case. So, we will uh, uh, further see that there are some more uh, improved methods to get uh, uh, this uh, improved solutions. But this is the basic uh, method, method and uh, hence we need to discuss it. So we, uh, you have, uh, we have seen one example. So based on a similar uh, uh, this approach, can you give the answer for this question one and question two? What is the exact solution? Who can tell me this exact solution uh, for question one? That is dy by dt is given to us. Who can tell me what is the value of uh, y? Now you proceed towards uh, the solution for this problem. Question number one and uh, use only step size of h is equal to 0.5. You can do it also using h is equal to 0.25 uh, at a, as, as, a, as an assignment, but you first you solve it uh, for h is equal to 0.5. What is the analytical solution for this problem? Can anybody give me? Sir, y is equal to e to the power t to the power 4 by 4 minus 1.5 t. Okay, Ayush. So, can you uh, uh, solve using this Euler's method? Any one of you? H is equal to uh, uh, 0.5 or H is equal to 0.5. Okay, as you say, you solve it, uh, but exponential term will be also there. Okay, Ellen, you have written Ellen. So you solve uh, this uh, using Euler's method and take a step size of uh, this uh, h is equal to 0.5. In the meantime, uh, you can you have the slides with you. You can have a look on uh, this uh, uh, Euler's approach, how we have the solved previous example. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that uh, you, you all will be able to uh, uh, means, uh, easily able to uh, understand that problem. If, if uh, anyone has anything need to discuss, you can unmute yourself and uh, 
we can discuss it here but uh, i do not think that uh, you will be having problem in understanding this ls method but uh, let us see who can uh, give the answer uh, for this question you are all are very good in mathematics not good not only good you are strong in mathematics okay abhijit uh, so you can uh, cross check your answer with uh, this uh, uh, your analytical solution okay so uh, uh, you uh, you have a uh, uh, so you take it as an assignment for the uh, for the home assignment and solve it these are pretty uh, so you can uh, solve these problems uh, we will uh, discuss this in uh, our this next class so i'm uh, proceeding towards our next uh, this uh, topic so this is uh, uh, more the advanced method than the ELS method for solving an ordinary differential equation. And we call it as uh, predictor corrector, uh, corrector method and uh, alternative name for this approach is Hune's method. So one method to improve the estimate of slope involves determination of two derivatives for the, uh, for the interval, one at beginning, another at end two uh, derivatives are then average to obtain the improved estimate of for the slope of the entire interval so what we have written uh, you can understand with uh, through the help of this graph so this graph is very important to understand this method so you can look here in figure number three so there were two points t at uh, time interval ti and uh, one point was located at pi plus one now uh, uh, we have computed the slope at an inter at a ti and at a pi plus one now what we will do we will take the average of these two uh, slopes and then uh, we will uh, extrapolate uh, uh, and we will follow same method in the uh, this uh, as did in Euler's approach and get the value of function at time t i plus one. So uh, I will just read out this uh, uh, this uh, uh, entire paragraph, and uh, you can uh, you correlate with the this uh, figure number three. So one method to improve the estimate. Of the slope in what determination of two derivative or the interval one at the beginning and other another at the end the two derivative are then averaged to obtain an improved estimate of the slope for the entire interval this approach is called Hune's method the approach is depicted graphically in figure number three graphical depiction of uh, Hune's method one is uh, part A, we are saying predictor, and uh, part B, we are saying corrector. So let us see what is these two steps. So we uh, have seen that uh, we have estimated the slope. That is a previous, uh, at the previous time step, when we were, uh, 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 when, uh, 
uh, when we were solving problems on based on Euler's method, uh, we took the value of uh, this slope at the time step t i. Now let us uh, 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 follow the same procedure, and uh, uh, but we have introduced one more this, uh, this uh, subscript uh, that is why not. You can see uh, there one uh, subscript is uh, introduced. Why not? I plus one is equal to y i f i value of uh, this uh, function at t i y i into h. So for the standard Euler method, we had had to stop at this point. That is, uh, uh, we could have stopped at uh, a point uh, equation number seven when once we were solving the problem using Euler's method. But here. Newton's method y y i plus one not is not the final answer, but an intermediate uh, prediction. That's why uh, we distinguished it with subscript zero. Equation seven is called predictor equation. It provides an estimate that allows calculation for a slope at the end of interval. That is y i uh, plus one prime. So we have also uh, uh, calculated uh, this uh, uh, slope at the interval, this uh, uh, y i plus one. Initially, we were uh, restricting ourselves to only y i. So now uh, we can take the average of uh, these two values and uh, then uh, use the linear interpolation. That is, uh, uh, here we are substituting the average value. However, in Euler's method, uh, we were substituting f, t i, and y i. But here we have also included uh, this f, t i plus one and y i plus one not, and we have taken the average of these two values. We will understand these things uh, uh, in the next slide once uh, we solve the this numerical problem. So uh, predictor ap uh, approach is uh, the estimation of a value in the next step y i plus one and character approach is the taking uh, the de uh, average derivative and estimating the value in the next step. So this is once again the graphical uh, representation of this. You have estimated the slope at two points t i and t i plus one. So now let us quickly uh, jump to one example and see what is this method exactly. How do we solve the problem? So we'll come to this. Let us uh, solve the same numerical problem, but using this uh, Hume's method or alternative name is predictor character method. So you can see here that uh, we know the exact solution for the, this uh, y dy by dt is equal to 4 e raised to the power 0. 0.8 t minus 0. 0.5 y and uh, step size of 1. We know the exact solution for this problem. And initial condition, as mentioned in the previous example, t is, at t is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. So, uh, we can calculate the slope. That is, the uh, slope is all uh, it's uh, uh, is given to us at uh, initial condition. That is, t is equal to zero, y is equal to two. So we will get uh, the value at uh, this point. That is, uh, uh, this this is uh, this uh, slope comes out to be three. Now. Uh, we compute the value of the function, which is y i plus derivative of the function into step size. Y i is two. The uh, derivative of function just we calculated is three, and the step size is one. So uh, the value of the function at uh, uh, zero t is equal to zero comes out to be five. Now. Uh, 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 note that uh, this result uh, that would be obtained by 
standard Euler's method, the true value corresponds to percentage relative error of 19.28. So if it had been uh, uh, calculated using standard approach, this is 19.28% error was involved. You can see in the table itself, the previous table. Now uh, we calculate the slope in our next step, that is, uh, next step is uh, this uh, uh, at t is equal to one St uh, this at t is equal to one we calculate the value of the slope so uh, we can see here this uh, the value of the slope turns out to be 6.402164 so the value of the function at uh, t is equal to one slope value of the slope comes out to be at t is equal to 1 is 6.4021 so now we have uh, uh, the slope at uh, uh, t is equal to 1 and the value of slope at t is equal to 3 now let us take the average of uh, these two values so you can see the average turns out to be this value uh, this is uh, 4.70 and uh, the rest of the decimal places. So now uh, we will substitute back into our this uh, original uh, equation, uh, which gives us the value of this 6.701082, and which represents a percentage relative error of 8.18. So uh, when you compare this uh, value, the percentage error, this is 8.18 with the 19 point uh, something 28. So uh, approximately uh, we have reduced the error by a factor of 2.4. So if you compute uh, this value, we have uh, approximately uh, this uh, uh, chopped the error by a factor of 2.4. So in a similar man manner, we can proceed for at a step size of uh, uh, this uh, t is equal to 2 and uh, t is equal to 3 and t is equal to 4. So we are not uh, going uh, beyond uh, at uh, t is equal to 1. You can easily write a computer program for this and uh, uh, do the iterations for this. So uh, if you will work out uh, in a similar uh, manner, then uh, uh, the value come out, comes out to be 6.275811. So uh, we can always refine these uh, results using uh, more estimates. So uh, we will have a look on this uh, method that is uh, predictor corrector method. Uh, we have a numerical problem in our this uh, subsequent slide. So let us take uh, this important uh, 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 method this is Ranga Kutta methods. So, Ranga Kutta methods, uh, we will saw uh, this. So, this is y i plus 1, y i, and uh, a k plus 1, a 2, k 2, and h. So, we will uh, uh, so we'll under, try to understand these things very carefully. So, uh, this is the value of function at a next time step that is if i substitute i is equal to zero then uh, we have the value of function at the initial step and uh, on lhs that is uh, 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 left hand side of this equation number uh, left hand side of this equation number 18 you can see that value of function is y y1 and some some values are written inside the bracket that is a1 k1 a2 k2 and h so let us try to understand these values so k is slope of the function uh, i repeat k1 and k2 are the slope of the functions and uh, at time interval ti that is at a, in, uh, a previous time interval and we have some unknown constant that is a1, a2. And uh, if you look the uh, slope k2, k1 and k2 are the slopes. 
and if you look at the slope slope k2 we have an other two unknown constant that is p1 and q11 so in all we have a1 a2 p1 and q11 as unknown constant so uh, for time being we will remember this equation number 19 please remember this equation number 19 so these uh, we have uh, four unknowns but three equations four unknowns and three equations and what we are doing is uh, to uh, we are trying to obtain the value of function at next time step using the previous uh, 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 previous uh, this uh, value of function at previous time step and the step size so uh, here uh, you can see that we have in equation number 19 uh, total number of four unknowns but the uh, number of equations are just three so obviously this can be expressed here as uh, uh, in terms of uh, this uh, a2 that is uh, uh, one of the unknown constant a2 that is a1 is equal to 1 minus a2 p1 is equal to q11 1 by 2a2 so because we can choose an infinite number of values of a2 here are infinite number of second order langa kutta method rk method or langa kutta method so we uh, uh, from this equation number 20a and 20b you can see that a2 is a is a variable and because of which we can have infinite number of values of a1 and a2 so if we uh, to take the value of a2 as uh, this 1 by 2 so we will end up with a1 is equal to 1 by 2 and p1 and q11 as 1 and once uh, we substitute these value in equation number uh, this 18 if you substitute these values in equation number 18 so uh, you can see this uh, equation number 18 and uh, corresponding k1 and k2 are represented by equation number 21 uh, uh, set of equations of 21 so uh, we have taken here the value of a2 as 1 by 2 now note that k1 is slope at the beginning of an interval k2 is slope at the end of interval so uh, k1 is the slope at the beginning of interval at uh, t is equal to 0 and k2 is the slope at the end of interval let us say that t is equal to 1 consequently this uh, second order langa kutta method is actually hume's technique without iteration of character so next uh, uh, approach is we have total three approaches in second order uh, langa kutta method so in second uh, first is hewn's method second is midpoint method and uh, in midpoint method uh, suppose that in set of equation number uh, this uh, uh, 20 uh, a, uh, a and 20 b if we substitute uh, this a2 as one then we will end up as a1 is equal to 0 and p1 and q11 is 1 by 2 then uh, this set of equation uh, uh, from 18 and uh, will become uh, which is represented by equation number 22 22a and 22b so this is called as midpoint method so uh, uh, last uh, 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 method which comes under this uh, uh, ranga second order ranga kutta method is this carlson uh, method and we are, we have a1 is equal to 1 by 3 and uh, p1 and q11 is equal to 3 by 4 and the set of equation in equation number 18 if you uh, correlate with the equation number 18 then we will have something represented by the 23 to uh, this uh, 23 b so these were the th three methods un under uh, second uh, order langa kutta method so 
based on this we have one numerical uh, uh, numerical uh, we are supposed to uh, find the the uh, uh, this uh, integral of this function using midpoint method and larson method so can anybody uh, give me the exact uh, answer for this uh, once we exact uh, integrate this function from 0 to 4 using initial condition at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 any one of you any one of you fx is equal to minus 2x cube plus 12 x square minus 20x plus 8.5 uh, we have uh, we have to perform an integration between limit 0 to 4 and using an initial condition at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 can any one of you Okay, so uh, uh, Ankit, Dhruv, anyone of you? What is the exact value of this function? Ayush, can you give the exact answer for this? Set yeah, two either. Correct, exact two either. Acha, isko uh, midpoint method se solve kado. Yes, sir. So oh, uh, I am also simultaneously uh, trying to uh, this uh, 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 solve this problem using this mid midpoint method. So let us uh, see how to solve this problem using midpoint method. So. Uh, we have the derivative of the function which is given as minus uh, this uh, d by uh, by dx or you can say if it was t then you can say d by by dt so it may be d by by dx or d by by d by dt means uh, so we have the derivative of the function as minus 2x cube plus 12 x square minus 20x plus 8.5 so we need to find the value of function using midpoint method and uh, the limit of integration is from 0 to 4 and the step size is given to us as 0. 0.5 and the initial condition is at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so uh, we have to solve this using midpoint method so now let us uh, try to understand it step by step so midpoint method so this is uh, given in equation number 22 y i plus 1 is equal to y i k2 into h and some uh, this slope is given uh, k1 and k2 so first we will compute the value of the function at uh, this uh, x is equal to 0 
here uh, it can be x also or t means the same we can write replace this t with xi also so this will be xi whole t will be replaced by x so in our question what we have given uh, to us is that we have to ca calculate the value of k1 first so which comes out to be as 8.5 so you all you all agree with this k1 is will come out as 8.5 yes sir uh, you look at the equation number 22 uh, 20 uh, 22 22a and 22b I will look on that equation. So uh, once we have calculated this value of K1, so now uh, this K1 will be used uh, in computation of value of K2. So let us see this K2. So Ti is given to us as uh, zero and uh, this, uh, uh, this is, has no meaning. So this has, uh, this H is given to us 0.5. So H by uh, H by two will be nothing, but this will be uh, this uh, uh, 0.25. And from here we will get uh, this Yi at, uh, at, uh, and uh, zero and Ki we have computed it. So we will get this value of K2 as this. So you all got the value of K2? Yes, sir. Okay, Arjit. Rest of the class, Asis, Bablu Kumar Patel. Okay, so once you get the value of K2, now our next task is to substitute this value of K2 in back into our equation number, this uh, uh, 22. So, uh, will I get the value of function at the y is equal to 0 0.5 as this 3.10937? Uh, if I substitute the value of K2 in equation number the, this 22 and uh, using uh, this uh, 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 step size uh, or uh, the this uh, step size of 0 0.5, will I get this value? V value of function at uh, 0 0.5 is 3.109375. You have to solve this in order to get uh, this uh, value. Okay, so once you solve this, you can try it at a later point of time. Those who are good in this writing program, you can also write the program for this. So uh, here you can see one table is given, table number two. So in midpoint method, so uh, if we proceed from uh, x is equal to zero to x is equal to four, uh, we will get, uh, uh, y is equal to this uh, at, uh, at x is equal to four, we will get y is equal to three. My screen is visible to you? No, no. sir, it's black. Okay. okay, you have the slide with uh, you, you go to slide number 20. You see the value of function at the different iteration steps. Value of function at different iteration steps. So uh, uh, you try it uh, using this uh, 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 the Larson method. So uh, let us uh, try to understand this uh, uh, Larson method.
ओके सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस दाल्सन मेथड सो वी विल कंप्यूट के वन यूजिंग सेम अप्रोच एस डन फॉर दिस मिड पॉइंट मेथड यू सी इक्वेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू थ्री ए ट्वेंटी टू थ्री ए दैट इज वी विल कंप्यूट के वन यूजिंग द सेम अप्रोच एंड विल गेट द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ के वन द डिफरेंस इज देयर इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बी इक्वेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री बी so let us see what is the difference in 23b so 23b uh, you can see here that uh, ti will be 0 and uh, we have this 3, 3 by 4 into h and yi plus 1 yi is given to us and 3 by 4 uh, uh, this uh, k1 into h 23b now we once we get the value of k1 and k2 we will uh, substitute it in, in equation number 23 and get the, the value of a function at a time step of y is equal to 0.5 so at y is equal to 0.5 uh, at y is equal to 0.5 we will get something as 3.27 uh, and uh, rest of the digits and uh, you can see here that uh, this uh, uh, ralston method which uh, with respect uh, when we compare this uh, second step with uh, 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 with uh, respect to our uh, this uh, uh, true solution this gives us an error of minus uh, 1.82% so here uh, if you proceed uh, uh, we have uh, seen just for uh, x is equal to 0.5 if you proceed uh, uh using same approach and for up to this x is equal to 4 then we will get uh, the value of function as 3.031250 so uh, uh this is uh, uh, the ralston method and uh, you can see that uh, we have made an comparative uh, assessment with respect to, to uh, this true solution so hume's method and midpoint method gives the exact uh, uh, solution uh, whereas the sarson method uh, is also exact with a percentage error of just 1% we can ignore that so here you can see that we have a drawn a plot using this the different approaches you can try this uh, pl plot on your own you can write a computer program those who are good in uh, programming or you can use this excel excel sheet ms excel and uh, also uh, draw this curve and uh, this is uh, all about the second order uh, ranga karta uh, method so uh, uh, ultimately you have to solve it on your own then only uh, you can uh, proceed to to further steps i have shown one step that is x is equal to 0.5 in a similar manner you can uh, uh, go for higher steps so uh, next is our this uh, fourth order ranga katta method so we will also understand this method very carefully so this is our last uh, method for ordinary differential equation so here you can see that if i want an estimate at at a next uh, this uh, uh, next step that is an step of suppose that point five if i want uh, to move from 0 to 0.5 so this is uh, called as a fourth order uh, uh, how do we solve this using fourth order danga katta method so let us uh, see this so we have uh, uh, introduced four constant here that is um, k1 uh, k2 k3 k4 so here you can see one uh, this uh, x uh, uh, versus t representation is there uh, so what we do is uh, uh, basically we compute the uh, constant at time interval ti and compute k1 you can see vertical line here dotted vertical line here so you can see one point is k2 is marked in this vertical line which is uh, at uh, ti i plus 1 by 2 ti plus 1 by 2 you can see two points k2 and k k3 here and one uh, point at ti plus 
which is k4 so uh, k4 uh, uh, the value of slope we measure at ti plus 1 that is uh, at the end of the interval and the value of k1 and uh, k2 and k3 are computed at the uh, at the this uh, mid of the interval whereas k1 is uh, uh, calculated at the beginning of the interval so let us uh, see this approach you can see this equation uh, fourth order zanga kutta method so this is yi 1 by 6 k1 plus two twice of k2 plus twice of k3 plus k4 into h so we wish to solve one uh, same numerical problem uh, but using this fourth order zanga kutta method and let us see uh, uh, how much error it gives to, with respect to the true solution so uh, as i said that k1 is the slope at the initial interval or the beginning of the interval so we know that a value of function at y is equal to 0 is 2 so uh, we will uh, calculate k1 uh, which is uh, d by by d, uh, dt or you may say d by by dx means the same thing so uh, k1 is equal to 3 so k1 is equal to 3 once we have calculated this value of k1 we will use the this value of k1 for calcul, uh, calculating the value of k2 and once we calculate the value of k2 we will use this value to calculate the, the value k3 and uh, once we know the k3 and we, we will use this value to cal calculate k4 let us see how uh, do we do, do this but uh, we will remember that uh, these time estimates uh, are different for uh, uh, for k1 k1 is taken at ti that is initial time interval this k2 and k3 uh, are taken at ti uh, 1 by 2 and k4 is taken at time interval ti plus 1 so let us see this uh, so now uh, we wish to calculate the value of k2 k uh, as i said that it is uh, estimated at an interval uh, half of the interval so uh, value of function at uh, this uh, slope at uh, half of the interval is uh, this uh, the 3.5 and which gives the value of k2 as 4.12729 so uh, please have a look on this uh, we can discuss it if you uh, if you, uh, we, uh, you have anything need to discuss here because these things are not very much uh, uh, yeah, pretty straight forward so you have a look at this now similarly you can see this k3 on, uh, for in order to estimate this k3 uh, uh, we will again compute the value of uh, slope at uh, uh, y is equal to 0.5 that is half of the interval and get the k3 as 3.91 2974 so these are the two values k2 and k3 are estimated at the midpoint of the interval however we estimated k1 at the beginning of the interval that is at t is equal to 0 and we will always remember that we will calculate k4 as the slope at end of the interval that is y is equal to 1 which comes out to be 5.912974 and subsequently the k4 comes out to be 5.945677 so once we have this k1 uh, from k1 to k4 we will substitute back into our this original uh, equation that is equation number the, uh, this uh, uh, yi i plus 1 uh, this is yi 1 by 6 of k1 plus twice of k2 and twice of k3 and k4 into h so once we substitute this we will get the value of function as uh, this 6.201037 and uh, once uh, if we compute compute the error with respect to the true solution which is just 0.103 that means the uh, langa kutta fourth order method is most precise method among all the methods so uh, you can correlate this with the simpson uh, this uh, uh, 3 by 8 rule so this is all for today and uh, i will wait for i will wait for 5 minutes if you have some query 
and uh, something we need to discuss but uh, my earnest request is that you please solve all these problems on your own then only any method will be more clear to you okay those who are uh, good in programming they may write some computer program or you may use ms excel to uh, solve these problems okay some of the problems you can solve using ms excel but most of the problem you have to write a computer program okay of course you won't be asked uh, to write a computer program in the exams but it will be good for you if you solve this because in uh, this uh, 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 once you proceed uh, towards your final year you will need uh, to write some computer codes of course so this is all uh, for today i'll wait for five minutes those uh, who have, do not have any query you may if you wish to leave you may please leave and the uh, rest may stay here Okay, anything we can discuss here? Hello? Hello? 